Yo, what's up, guys? Today we're playing Dreadbloom Cave Boost Only, and I asked ChatGPT which are the three best towers to use in this game mode, and it gave me Ninja Monkey Super and Monkey Apprentice. So that is what we're going to be playing with today. Before we get into that, though, comment of the day does go to this guy. Major shout out to you. But without further ado, let's get right into it. Alrighty, so we're against player something, and this guy actually has like an 82% win rate. And he's playing Dread Bloom. Okay. By the way, guys, so real quick, if you're watching this video within the first 24 hours of it being live, please go down and hit the like button. Okay. I'd really appreciate it. Let's see how many likes we can get. And if you're not subscribed, do remember to subscribe. Good luck to uh, to player 8636025. ChatGBT is saying that this is the. I asked what are the what's the best strategy? Like what are the best three towers to use? And it told me that these three towers are generally effective on this map. You can read out the whole message in the beginning if you want. Um, but yeah, I think since we're playing this, we probably want to be starting out with a wizard, honestly. And we're going to be starting out with it down here. And of course, we need to go wizard eco. So I highly think that wizard and ninja need to carry us most of the game and then going late that is when we want to pull out the super monkey if we can uh, make it work this is open chat ai's uh, recommendation so we got to do what the robot says but i disagree that this is the best strategy i think they're dartling uh for example like dartling just just yeah it's just uh, just dartling gunner really Dar Dar dartling farm ice would definitely beat this ninja farm ice would beat this hey even dfa would beat this any Cobra strategy really would beat this because a Ninja Ace Eco is not the greatest. I mean, it's not the worst, honestly. I was expecting a much worse strategy. He actually did, or well, I'm saying he, it actually did give me something rather effective. Let's go ahead and put this to strong. So yeah, this strategy combined with my game knowledge, let's see if, uh, if we can make some things work. So he is anti-stalling, which is good. I mean, he's doing what he's supposed to do. And he also made sure to place his uh, attack shooter pretty well. So, I mean, gotta give, gotta give him props for that. He is going to be uh, keeping me from getting a little bit of eco. Now, we can try any way we want to win with this strategy. I think the general thing would probably be to go late and get as much eco as possible because we don't really want to be on the rushing side. We kind of have to play a little bit defensive here. And uh, yeah, I mean, we're just going to be trusting in, uh, in, in, in AI and seeing if, if it'll carry me. Because the thing is, like, sometimes we need to eco. Let's go for Fireball here, just because uh, he's sending us stuff. But, yeah. Also, just the scary part. Wizard is kind of annoying here, because it doesn't target everything at the bottom. It generally goes for the stuff at the top. So, these blooms here are a little bit annoying to have to defend. I might actually just put that on, like, yeah, close. And just hope <laughs> for the best, I guess. All right, seems like seems like it's good on close. Let's go ahead and uh, probably send him a bunch of just black blooms. I think I don't know if we want to go for a ninja right now or what we want to go for. Let's go ahead and put that to uh, strong. And let's send him some space blooms. I kind of don't want to go for a ninja because ninja is not really good early game. It's really bad early game. So yeah, we're gonna ignore that. Go for another wizard here. Just gonna get intense magic. Put that bad boy to strong. And yeah, let's go ahead and send him a little bit of eco here. We don't want to oversend, of course, because he can rush us round 13. So we have to be a little bit careful. And he went for another farm, alright. Okay, so he's going tag whiz and he's going anti-stall. Well done. Well done for sure. Let's uh get a little bit of extra money here. See if we can pull this up to 700 eco. That should be nice. All right, let's stick with it here. We cannot eco any further at this point. Because if we do, he can just all out us. We need to be able to afford... I want to say... First, we want to get camo detection on just this one. He doesn't know if I have camo detection on the bottom one. Because this one takes care of the top stuff. So, I think we want to place this, like, right here. And... All right, so he balloon boosts the first rush here. And I think we'll be okay to it. Even though it's Bloom Boosted, we're fine, we're fine. Let's target all these two uh, first, back on strong. And 
Let's go ahead and uh, send him one of these. Just spaced. Followed by some regular... Okay, spikes. We got him to panic a little bit. That's nice. And of course, we again, we cannot send him two expensive rushes. Unfortunately, man. I, I wish, but we can't. We we got we got to keep it a little careful. So let's see. Let's uh, make sure we have camera detection on at least two of these. And this is where the ninja could come in handy in case he tries to send like a ceramic or something. Ninja would be pretty good in that case. Yep, there's a camo ceramic. Let's make sure we just have a few of these on strong. I'm not gonna get a lightning on that. And let's see. Maybe some of this might get passed. Okay, we get a boost. That is really, really nice. And we force a farm cell. Okay. Good on us. We're actually doing fine here. Building up a little bit of eco, getting a little bit of money. But again, since we're ecoing, we have to be careful with our boosts. So we're going to go for this now. And I think we can even go ahead and sell that. Go for this right here. This one down at the bottom. We're going to put that to first. Keep that on strong. And this one we can always go ahead and upgrade if, uh, if needed. So let's go ahead and uh, just go for a little bit more eco here. We will have enough time to get an eco boost to react. Yeah, see, like right here. We'll be just fine to that. And that should clear up. I think. Yep. Little scary, but we're all right. So that's nice. Now, round 20 is going to be really, really scary. So he's actually going to go for a bank. Oh, he's going to go for BIA. Okay. So I am actually going to go ahead and send him this followed by a lot of ceramics. And then I think we'll send him some camo ceramics up behind. And now the round has ended. So we're going to keep on sending camo ceramics. And yeah, I think he'll be hopefully dead. No. Okay. He actually manages to defend that. Well done, buddy. Well done. Thing is, I'll, when we get to see him, our BFBs, I would have been done for. So yeah good game man strategy just doesn't really work that well there there's no way for me to really gain an advantage but we're gonna try it one more time okay we're against the dead manko let's see and this guy's thumbs downing me for some reason i don't know why let's thumbs down him back all right let's see uh are we against some toxic brain dead grinder he's not a grinder just like toxic but all right let's see the thing is, I hate going against toxic players that I know I can beat with, like, meme strategies such as this one. Because I know my strategy isn't great. Like, my strategy is really bad. Alright, let me see. Would this be a decent split? Uh, maybe not. Okay, so it goes for a wizard up there. Let's just put our wizard, like, over here. And get ready to eco. Less money he gets, the better. Starts off with a wizard, though. So he's probably going wiz ace. And I feel like the best thing we can do is honestly what we did last game. Our last opponent was anti-stalling as they are supposed to do against eco. We got us the max eco or as much eco as we could possibly get while still playing like optimally. So, I mean, there was, and, and we would just be dead round 20. The thing is, there's another thing I can do, right? I can get a little bit less eco, make sure I have round 20 defense, but then just get smoked to a CMG, right? There, there's no winning really all they need to do is play passively farm and send me a cmg and i'm pretty much dead like i'm not gonna survive a cmg with this right here because i'm not gonna be able to get that much eco in time especially when all my money needs to go into eco which for some strategies eco is really great because you get easy defense for a lot of things with this strategy not really N nin ninja ninja super or ninja wizard is just not great for ecoing but yeah, let's just go for as much eco here as possible. Hope for the best. He's anti-stalling, of course. I'm also low-key anti-stalling, which is yeah, just annoying. Let's see, will I be able to get... Maybe I can get a few of these in on him. Let's see. Okay, so he just goes for another wizard as defense. Fair enough. I'm just going to go back to ecoing. Got two people spectating right now. One watching live. All right, let's see. Got to focus on my eco right now. 
trying to get as uh, much money as possible still okay now i gotta go for my upgrade right here let's go for fireball just gonna keep that on yeah on strong i think here we go all right please just be all right let's see can we get anything on round eight i mean he doesn't have that many farms the thing is i have a lot of rushing potential mid game which i prefer to go for rather than just going for uh like going for the late game options because we don't really have any options to go late are we good here let's take that to first yeah it looks like we're chilling all right back to sending he went for two lightnings for some reason all right, I want to get at least like 650 eco if we can. Maybe I can get 700. On the other hand, probably not because I need round 13 defense as well. All right, let's stop here. And let's go ahead and get this right here going. Nice. Two more eco boosts real quick. I need a second lightning. If I boost here, I'm dead. So like there's no... I need to boost. Yeah. Unfortunate. I am I am so dead to an all out. Thing is, I don't even know if he has tax shooter. But all he needs to do is just all out me and I'm dead. So yeah, this is my only option. I have to counter or I'm dead. It's it's counter or lose. Yeah. This the wizard starting eco just not good. Like we'll we'll try one more time. And then I'm kind of done listening to chat GPT, but let's try one more time. All right, this time we're against retired Icy. Doesn't, don't really know who this person is, but I almost just went ice. Okay, there we go. Let's see if, uh, if we can do something right here. Hopefully, man, hopefully. So I got to go ahead and anti-stall here. Going to place this up at the top and... I mean, yeah, we just, really just the only thing we can really do is just place this over here in the back. So he's going for a dart monkey. Hopefully we can counter a dart monkey. Good thing is he's not going to be anti-stalling. Not 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 with a dart monkey. He's not going to be anti-stalling with that. So, you know what? I'll take it. Let's see. All right. So, of course, we want to go for a lightning when he forces it. Probably not until, like, round four. Most, like, like <laughs> most uh, situations. So, let's just make sure we're defending. I stupidly just let three lives by, by having my wizard on strong. That was kind of a mistake, but whatever. We should be good. Okay. I'm going to put this on first now. All right. Last, first. And, yeah, let's just go for this now, because he's about to rush me. And let's bloom boost some pinks at him. There we go. Oh, he spikes. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. All right, back to Econ. We can't even be sending too many of these. Just really wanted to force the second dart monkey. The more defense I can get from or off of him, the better. We also do have to send him some black blooms on, uh, on round six. Yeah, there you go. It's not like I'm planning on going late anyway. My bloom boost aren't as valuable. However, the pink blues was boot or bloom boost was probably really dumb. I should have waited until at least black balloons, I think. Alright, going into round six with not a lot of eco. Let's just keep this to first right now. He doesn't force anything really. But yeah, let's send him a black or a spaced black balloon right now. Let's send him a few more of these. See if any of them get just a little bit past. The thing is, I will need to send a lot of space black balloons <clears throat> for, for them to actually, like, do anything and get past. Which is, like, a little bit annoying because he can easily defend. So he doesn't really need to go for another trip if he doesn't want to. Let's go for fireball here. But that's a strong. Alright, please just be fine. Right, let's go for a few of these. See if he sends uh, some region whites. He does. Just gonna put that to strong as well. And both on first. 
this on strong. Nice. Good targeting always helps. All right, let's send a few spaced here. Go ahead and send him a bunch of these. He hasn't really eco'd much. He's mostly just been farming, getting up his two plantations. So, I mean, he's not really playing DFA that well, in my opinion. Could be playing it better. I kind of miss DFA, honestly. I should do a DFA video soon. All right, let's go ahead and just send, <laughs> send a little bit of a rush here. We can't repeat the same mistake we did from last game. So I'm just going to go ahead and rush with a little bit of stuff right here. Nice. And then stop. Okay. Now I need two of these. And we do need to upgrade one to monkey sense. And then I got to get this right here up. Oh, he just goes for a farm. Never mind. All right. Okay. Red hot spikes. Let's go ahead and... Uh, Send some eco, I guess. Okay, he gets up four spolts and a jug. The hell? Is he just going ultra, ultra passive BIA? What the hell is he doing? All right, let's just keep on sending space eco, I guess. Acting like we have a little bit of money, although we're spending it all on eco. Yeah, he's just going for a passive BIA. Jeez. I have one bloom boost left. I don't really want to waste it yet. So, guess we'll uh, we'll just play this a little bit passive and see what happens. Let's see. He could go ahead and send me a ceramic here if he wanted to. Oh, he's definitely going to. No. Okay. Oh shoot. Okay. Ah, we defend. Go ahead and uh, force a boost. Nice. Oh, Bell is outside the ring. Of course, the camo ceramic. I should have kind of expected that. I think we'll wait a little bit right now. What? Did he expect me to boost to that? The hell? Okay, whatever. We're going to ignore that. Let's go for the Dragon's Breath right here. Yeah, just have that on strong. Get this on first. Have both of these on strong. Get ready to go for this if needed. Hmm. Wait, I might have oversent here. I oversent. That was bad. That was really bad. Oh, he went for BIA. Round 18 BIA. Wait, surely I can punish this, right? Surely. Thing is, I cannot boost it at him. Okay, one, two, three. Bam. Wait, I sent that a bit too early. Should have waited like one more second. Thing is, his boost lasts 15 seconds and this takes 10 to uh, send. So you want to wait until like 5 seconds after. Oh, never mind. I timed it perfectly. Does his boost not last for... Is it like 12 seconds? Was I wrong? Alright, let's go ahead and just send a bunch of this right here. Just basically a bunch of blooms up behind. To kind of help layer. Oh, nice. We end up taking a win. Finally, dude. Finally. I'm happy against Retired Icy. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Peace out, everybody.